Greetings and thank you so much for journeying with us through this week. We've been reflecting on Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 1 through 6, talking about the potter and the vessel. And today I just want to talk about the vessel, the finished product. So as God works in our lives and, you know, our, we are sh shaped and formed and designed intricately and beautifully into that finished product, and as we approach more and more the finished product and God puts all those wonderful colors on our lives and we are coming into that final product that He envisioned for us. You know, we are still the vessel. Can the vessel take any credit for itself? Can the vessel say, I have become this wonderful vessel? Can it? Surely not. Everything the vessel becomes is fully attributed to the working of the potter. The potter is a master craftsman. And it, it is his skill. It is his artistic abilities and talent, so to speak, that is then displayed and expressed through the part, through the vessel. So when people see the finished product, they marvel, they may be amazed, uh, they may, you know, say how wonderful this vessel is. But the vessel can take no credit. The vessel is only expressing the greatness, and the marvelous work of the potter. And that's the posture you and I must always maintain in our life. As God works upon us and we are being formed and fashioned into what He wants us to be, people are seeing the shape that we are taking and people are seeing all the wonderful things that are taking place in our lives and the, and the things that God is doing. Remember, we are just the vessel. We are only expressing the greatness of the potter. He is the potter. We are the vessel. It is His greatness being expressed through the pieces of work, the finished products that we are becoming. And may all the glory and all the honor be His and His alone. And may people see, enjoy, and glorify God through us, the earthen vessels. As the Apostle Paul said, we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of ourselves. Or as Paul wrote in 2 Timothy chapter 2, that we are vessels of honor, sanctified and fit for the master's use. It is what God does through us for his glory. Let's pray. Father, may we never fail to give you all the glory and the honor knowing that we are vessels that you've shaped and formed. But it's your greatness expressed through our lives. You are the potter. We are the clay that you've formed into these vessels. Vessels that display your glory. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.